a litter robot three hackers I did this to mine I'm not suggesting you do it to yours but if you want to bypass the full drawer sensor and the anti pinch sensor here's the hack that I did to mine my lights weren't working on the full drawer sensor so I had to replace the sensor part so what I did was I ripped out all the guts, everything. I took it all off. I took off this little plastic pinch piece. And then you get this component with the cables and the wires. So what I did was I went ahead, plugged all the cables in, and then I put, like your garage door, these two lights that need to beam against each other. I just taped them together so they're always beaming against each other. Then I took a little piece of metal and put it inside my anti-pinch sensor. And then I can take it and I stuff it off into the back and then that whole part is gutted and it works perfectly. I don't have any more pinch problems. I don't have any more drawer full problems. I know when my cats fill up the drawer, I know when to empty it. So if you've been having issues with yours and you wanna try a hack I'm not suggesting you do it to yours. I did it to mine and it works perfectly. One other thing you want to do is when you put this little pinch sensor together, you can just slice those wires and wire them up together. Just wrap that with tape or something that'll protect it so that it doesn't short out anywhere. And that uh that won't cause you any problems either. You can always just snip these wires and and uh, roll them together. And that would do you as well. And just I just tuck it down over here. Looking at my little robot, it's down on the right hand side. Good luck. I know if you're like me, you are super tired of having these lights blinking on the front of these machines. I understand why they would protect them. But if you know your cats like I know mine, this works out great. Let's give it some power love. Try it out. All right. So don't come in here, watch my videos, and not give me any love. Just give me a like or a share. Or maybe even troll me a little bit. I want to hear from Grandma. How oh, Fluffy got her leg amputated because she wasn't smart enough to jump out of the darn litter box when it was tumbling her over. Have you ever seen a cat? That's right. Down there on the left is where the uh, old sensor is. I'll go ahead and try to leave a, a link to the sensor I got to to replace my old one. If you need it, I'll put it down in the description below. There you go. Like, subscribe to my channel. Maybe you might, might want to do some more DIY, some barbecue. I love the cube. No fluffy jump. Get out of the way. Oh, you know what I really like is the trolls that are going to come in and be like, You can't do that. Your company's marching and don't work anymore. You know what? I didn't tell you to do it. I showed you what I did to mine. If you don't want to do it, don't. If it doesn't work, put it back the way it was. It'll keep not, it'll keep not working for you. Not very clean in there. Someone needs to clean that litter box. All right, y'all. Well, here you go. Cheers. Happy hacking to your little litter robots.